There we go. Hey everyone, Grace here. Today's video is a really, really special video. Today, we're celebrating 1,000 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> now guys, I can barely, barely believe that this is even happening. It's something that I've dreamed about since I was a kid. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. Now, I do not just see that a thousand as a number. I see it as people. I'm just so thankful that so many people enjoy my videos. That means so much to me, and I want to continue to grow and improve and keep putting out the best videos for all of you guys. Also, before I move on, I do want to give a special thank you to my family. You guys have always supported me in my channel, even when it was tough, even when my videos were in a growing stage. Just know that that means so very much to me. I love you guys. So, since today's a special video, not only are we celebrating, I'm also going to be answering your questions, and I will also kind of go into the history of my channel and how it all began. Why am I wearing these? I don't even need them. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna start off a little bit by telling you when and how I started my channel. So just sit back and enjoy and let's chat. So I uploaded my very first video back on May 29th of 2019. I think it was the 29th, almost five years ago. And I've actually been making videos longer than that. Before I started my channel, when I was just a kid, <laughs> I actually would make videos and I would just send them to my grandma over Google Hangouts. I really loved how they made her smile and she is really one of the main people that encouraged me to start my YouTube channel along with the rest of my family. So I did it. And my first videos, well, let's just say I've grown a little bit. <laughs> As scary as that is, it's exciting to see the growth. It's a journey, right? So hey, let me answer one of your questions now. Okay, just gonna use this Squishmallow here as a laptop holder. The first question I'll answer is from Sally. Hey Sally. Sally asks, what is your favorite color? That's an easy one. My favorite color is purple. Let me know what your favorite color is in the comments. Oh, Sally also asks, also, do you have a favorite emoji? Mine is this. Mermaid emoji. Purple too. Have you ever seen Barbie's vlog on the Barbie YouTube channel? Lastly, what's your favorite Barbie movie? It was so fun. So my favorite emoji, oh, that's a tricky one. I'll have to say purple heart because I use it so much and my favorite colors purple so yeah purple heart emoji and yep i've seen barbie's vlog i remember seeing some of those when i was younger and lastly what's my favorite barbie movie fun question my favorite hands down has got to be barbie uh, princess charm school i just love that one i don't know why it's so fun it just reminds me of watching it with my sisters <laughs> when we were younger so that's just really fun although my second favorite is Barbie Spy Squad, so I have to have a second. Ooh, should I make a spy movie? Sally has one more question. She asks, is your Everyday Adventures show planned ahead and scripted, or do you just make it along as you go? Ooh, interesting question. So, no, I don't script it. I have the story idea planned ahead, yes. But everything they say, I just make it as I go along. My family does help me a lot with the stories. Sometimes it's so hard for me to come up with new ideas. So they come up with the stories and then I make it into reality. So they'll give me kind of a, that's just my method and it's just always worked for me. Oh, look at this fun question. Noble asks, what is your favorite snack and candy? And she says, mine is popcorn and Sour Patch Kids. Okay, first of all, I love popcorn too and I am a fan of Sour Patch Kids but my favorite candy is definitely gummy bears. Mm, yes, so good. Favorite snack? I'm gonna have to go with you, popcorn. Popcorn is so good, especially the air popped kind. Perfection. 
Thanks so much for that fun question. I'm so glad I get to answer these for you guys. Where I left off, I started my channel and my videos needed a lot of improvement. I still had a lot to learn, better ways to edit, better ways to do things, make things, everything. Needless to say, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. It's a hard road. <laughs> I continued to work on my videos for two years. I worked so hard on my channel, <laughs> maybe to the point where it was a little unhealthy. And well, there was a point there where I got a little burnout and it just wasn't fun anymore. You should only do it if you want to. Your reason for making videos is because you enjoy it. Anyway, life got busy and I didn't post for two years. I'm sure some of you noticed. I left like 270 subscribers <laughs> and didn't post any videos. I want to thank those of you who stuck around for that two years of not posting. <laughs> And to be honest, I really didn't expect to be uploading again. I thought I'd given it up for good. There came a time when I was a little less busy and I decided to finish a project that I had started. Yep, my first video back, The Christie Caper. That video, I was so surprised that so many people watched that video. I don't even know what happened. To be honest, I don't understand YouTube sometimes. That's okay, because I make the videos for you guys. Besides all of that, I realized how much I missed doing that. I realized how much I still enjoyed making videos. So, moral of the story, breaks matter. <laughs> it was five months ago, I uploaded my first video back, and it just makes me so happy to know that I can make videos for you guys that are enjoyable, hopefully inspiring, and make you smile. So yeah, let me answer the next question. I'm gonna answer this one from Barbie's Best Day. Thanks so much for your question. She asks, how old are you? How many dolls do you have? Or who is your favorite Barbie in your collection? Cool. So I am 19 years old. And nope, I don't think 19 is too old to be making doll videos. Not at all. Next question is, how many dolls do I have? As of now, I have like 87. Yeah, that's including myself. Most of them are actually all the same because I get so many play sets and they usually just come with the same kind of Barbie, but that's okay because they're good for extras and videos. <laughs> and then my favorite, honestly have to say it's probably Skipper. I basically am Skipper. The personality that she has in Everyday Adventures and the videos and stuff, that's basically me. <laughs> I just, I've always loved Skipper, so yep, she has to be my favorite. Next would have to be Christy or Barbie. So yeah, it's kind of hard for me to pick just one. Everyone, let me know about your favorite dolls in the comments. Next question from Annette. She asks, do you have a craft room? And if so, can we see a tour? So actually, no, I don't have a craft room. I do have a cabinet where I keep all my craft stuff for my videos. Um, but nope, I don't have a craft room. It's just all in my bedroom. So not a whole lot to see. <laughs> How do you store your Barbie items, clothing, shoes, dolls, accessories, etc.? So nothing fancy. I store all my dolls in a basket under my bed, but I do sort out all my clothes and accessories into separate bags. That way when I'm filming, it's easier to find things. Sometimes the most time consuming part of making video is getting everyone dressed and setting up scenes. So this way, grab grocery store stuff or grab a t-shirt out of the t-shirt bag. And that just keeps things really organized. And no, it's not fancy, but it works for me. Okay, well, the last one is from Noble again. She asks, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? What is your favorite video? And the one you had the most fun making? Awesome, but what made me want to is I was inspired by Mattel making videos of Barbie just making food and that's why some of my first videos are Barbie making food. I did grow up playing Barbies with my siblings and I've always liked using technology and editing just has come very easily. Well, yeah, um, I take that back. It's actually really quite frustrating sometimes, but I do enjoy it. I would have to say that it was when I got the Barbie Life app I don't even know if that's a thing anymore, but I would watch little videos on there 
Also, with Mattel rec recreating the Barbie Life in the Dreamhouse series with dolls was really <laughs> inspired me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I got the idea to make videos. And it just kind of has grown from there. Now, my favorite video? Favorite video that I've made? Well, hmm. Well, I guess for now, I'll have to say Barbie's Christmas Carol. It was a lot of new editing methods that I used and stuff. So it was really uh, a challenge to make, but I really, really was happy with the end results. So I'm really proud of that one. Now, the one that I had the most fun making, well, Christmas Carol was fun, but I also really liked the one where I had dad fell off the roof, also a Christmas one. Although Christy Caper was fun too. I don't know. They're all fun, yes. Some harder than others, but they're all fun. It's hard for me to pick a certain one. So guys, thank you, thank you, thank you again for subscribing and being a part of my channel. I don't think I'll ever be able to make known how much that means to me. It means so much. Thanks for putting in your questions. I'm so glad I could answer them for you guys. And also don't forget, if you would like a chance to get a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is subscribe down below and just let me know in the comments that you did. That way I know to give you a shout out. This way we can all support each other and grow together. I kind of wish that I would have done shout outs sooner, but I feel like now is better than never. Thank you again so much. And I will see you guys this coming Friday for a new makeover video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.